Welcome back to another segment here on Girlfriend Unwrapped. Now let me ask you, have you just left the gym or maybe just did a few laps at the park? Well, I've created the perfect bath that'll help treat that post-workout feeling. Want to know how I did it? Well, run to the kitchen, grab some lemons, and let's go. Okay, so first, of course, I am always starting off by running my water. I want to really run some really, really hot water. And that'll help to start with any Epsom salts that I'll be using to create this bath. So I'm starting today with some argan oil Epsom salt. And I'm just putting about three handfuls of that Epsom salt in. And that will really help to relax my muscles after the workout. And next I'm using some Castile soap which this is lavender infused Castile soap and it smells so good. What I love about this soap is it does not foam and with this bath you don't want to create bubbles. We want the other ingredients that I'm about to put in here really uh, help to stand out, okay? So next I'm using some de-stress aromatherapy essential oils and this is a mixture of lavender oil and frankincense. And I only put a few drops in because this stuff is really concentrated, okay? So you definitely want your water to run and remember to fill it up at least to about three fourths of the tub because we have to account for our body mass. That's very important when running the water. We don't want it to overflow, okay? So now that my water is nice and still, I've sliced um, about two lemons up or I think probably one and a half. And I've tried to remove all of the seeds or as many of the seeds as I could possibly remove. And I'm just going to begin to place that into my bath. And don't worry if they sink to the bottom, the water will absorb inside of the lemon and then they eventually will float to the top, okay? So just continue to fill your bath and let those lemons absorb into that water and release all those great oils. If you didn't know, lemon is really great for the skin and it definitely helps to uplift your spirits. Now we need a pop of color. So I decided to pick up these blue hydrangeas that I got from my local store. The color blue is known to be very soothing. So definitely select colors that you know will help you to relax during this time. Next, I grab one of my bath towels, roll them up and place it towards the back of the bathtub. This will serve as a neck rest, which is definitely needed. I grab the remaining bouquet of hydrangeas, place them into a glass vase, and decided that these will be beautiful and perfect to enhance the scenery during my bath. How gorgeous are these flowers? They're definitely my favorite flowers and I think they're so lush. To keep up with the vibes, I've opted for a smaller version of candles from what I normally use. I've chosen to go with these tea light candles, which are unscented and create the perfect amount of lighting throughout the bathroom. This ties perfectly into the mood. So now to top off my bath, I definitely need to put up my bath caddy. So the first thing I'll do is set that up so it'll allow me to use other things throughout my bath, but I doubt that I'll be using any electronics since the goal here is to de-stress and unwind from a long workout. Here I have some lemon water and lemon water is one of my favorites to drink. It's really good with detoxing the body and also helps to put electrolytes back into the body. So get you a few slices of lemon and water and you're good to go. Next, I'm using this dual body massager that has different settings on the back. This is perfect for exfoliating your skin and really helps to open up the pores. To go along with my body massager, I definitely need some type of soap. So I will go for my cotton body soap. And this soap is pretty mild and I love the smell that it gives my skin when I'm done bathing. 
Also, I will probably go ahead and pair my Juniper Body Essential Scrub, um, very similar to the scrubs I've made here on the channel. If you don't know, Juniper is really good and it helps with fluid retention, eczema, as well as other skin problems, okay? So lastly, in order to exfoliate my body, I do need something to go with those scrubs and soaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this white loofah that I have. Um, it's just perfect for exfoliating the skin. And that is about it. I love this bath. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. If you've had a long day in the gym or that previous workout still has your body feeling really sore, then this bath is exactly what you need. This bath recipe can be found over on my website, girlfriendunwrapped.com. There you will also find additional bath creations and other things that I've decided to share with you or just a little bit more about me. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below, or share this video with family and friends. This is Jasmine, the girlfriend you never knew you needed, here on Girlfriend Unwrapped. I look forward to talking to you soon, girl. Peace.